Hi, this is Kanav Babu. This is part 12 of our trial based project. The last class we discussed about admin will add the bus details and admin can view the bus details. Admin can perform deleting operations as well as editing operations. In this video, we will discuss about admin will add the pickup points. Here you can see. In the last session, we already discussed about uh, how to perform the editing operations within the grid view control as well as pacing as well as deleting operations. Now, admin will add the pickup points. So, I'll go to the project, add new item, select web form, web form with master press. The name I will try to give as add pickup points, add pickup points dot ASPX. And here, select the master press, click on OK. So this is your design. So here I will try to go to the admin master face and within that you can select the menu control. Select the ellipse button here you can see edit menu items and there I will select the pickup point add and click on navigate URL and here I will give uh, add pickup point dot ASPX. Click on OK button. So to make the things faster I will do the design. So your design will look like this. So after designing web page will look like this. Enter pickup point ID on text box and pickup point name one more text box. And here you can see an add button. So here I am not performing any validations. Right. So here in this screen I want to auto generate the pickup point ID. Right. For that I want to create one stored procedure. So here my procedure will look like this. Create procedure procedure name as begin and select max of ID from pickup points and so here you see max of PID. So here I have one table called pickup point table having two columns PID and what P name. I already inserted one uh, record in that table like P1 as well as BHL. Pickup points means for example if you consider a bus which is traveling from Hyderabad to Vizag, uh, in Hyderabad the starting points like there are several pickup points will be there like BHL, Miyapur, Sir Nagar, Amir Pet, Albi Nagar. These all are the pickup points of that bus. So the customers can take the ticket. For example, the capacity of the bus is 40. Some 10 passengers want to catch the bus at BHL. Some 15 passengers want to catch the bus at Amir Pet. Some 5 passengers want to catch the bus at Elbinagar. These all are called as the pickup points and nothing but the boarding points. Is it clear? Now here I already create a stored procedure. And when you try to execute the procedure, here you see. Uh, it will display the max of ID. So here the maximum ID is what? P1. Is it clear? So now in my uh, screen, I want to automatically generate the pickup point ID. So here I will go to the solution explorer. First of all, I will try to go to the data access layer and within the data access layer, I will try to declare one method. So here you say, I declared one division auto generate pickup point ID. Here I declared one method called auto generate pickup point in the written type of the method is string. So here I will create the connection open the connection, pass the procedure, mention that we are working with stored procedure and the result of the procedure I am trying to store in a string variable. We already know that execute scalar return type is object. So in order to convert object to string, I am using to string method. So it will get the max of id. So the p1 will be stored in yes. So build the solution. Now go to solution explorer and here you go to business logic layer. And within the business logic layer, here you can declare one more method. So here I declared one method. The name of the method is auto generate pickup point. Is it clear? And before that, I want to do a small correction here. Within the database, you try to insert one record in pickup point table. Previously, we inserted simply p1, but now I am inserting pid underscore 1. So here you see your max of id is pid underscore 1. So that I can split the value based on underscore and here you say within this one I declared one variable PID and here I am calling the auto generate pickup point and the result of this method is PID underscore 1 will be stored in yes. Now I want to split the value PID underscore 1. So PID will be stored in 1. So here split method written type is what int. So here this is the output it will look like this. I want to split here. Here you will get PID and here you will get what 1. And the uh, result of this, uh, the written type of the split method is what? String array. So here you see. 
S1 of 1 means what will come? 1. I am storing that 1 in I and I am uh, incrementing the I value. Now, I is 2. PID is how much? PID. Is it clear? Here, I will simply write PID underscore so that here you will get PID underscore plus I is how much? 2. So, PID underscore 2. Written PID. In here, I will show you the flow of execution so that you will understand. Now, go to your solution explorer and here you can uh, go to the presentation layer. That is add uh, pickup point dot aspx and within the presentation layer, I will double click on uh, here. I will go to the uh, business logic window and I will try to declare the namespace using business logic layer, business objects as well as using business logic layer. Is it clear? So here I will declare one more method. Something like private void. The name of the method I will give as auto generate PID. Bracket open, bracket close. And here I will create an object for business logic layer. Dot business logic layer. OBJ BLL is equals to new business logic layer of. Now call the method OBJ BLL dot. The method name is auto generate pickup point ID. The written type of the method is what? String. So string PID is equals to. And display that one in text box 1. So, here I have given the IDs for the text boxes, txt PID, txt P name. So, here I will write something like txt PID dot text is equals to PID. Is it clear? And I want to call this method inside the form load. So, here I will write if is post back is equals to what? False, I will call the auto generate, auto generate PID method. And here you keep the breakpoint at page load and press F5. Is it clear? And uh, so admin will log in with his username and password and he will add the pickup points. So here you see automatically page load was fired and it is calling the auto generate PID method. Now presentation layer is interacting with business logic layer. Now uh, here business logic layer is interacting with what? Data access layer. And the result is PID underscore 1. Here you can see the array value PID and 1. Here I is how much? 1. Incrementing the I value I is 2. So return PID. PID underscore 2. And display in where? Text box. I hope you understood. Similarly, when user clicks on uh, the add button, it has to add the pickup point details in your table. For that, I need to create a stored procedure. So here I will go to the management studio, new query, and I will create one stored procedure. Create procedure PROS underscore add pickup point. Pass two parameters at the rate PID, at the rate P name, and write the insert query. Press F5. Command completed successfully. Now, here I will go to the Visual Studio Editor, and here I will try to go to the Solution Explorer, and uh, there I will go to Data Access Layer, and here I will write the method. To make the things faster, I will automatically generate the method here. So, here I will try to paste the code. So, here you see I declared one region called Add Pickup Point. And uh, here the method is add pickup point. The written type of the method is int. So first step, create the connection, open the connection, pass the procedure. Mention that we are working with stored procedure. And first of all, I will go to the business objects. And within the business objects, I will declare two properties. One is PID and the other one is P name. Right. So public string, the name of the property I will give as PID. And one more property I will declare public string P name. So I will try to build the solution. So, here I will try to go to the data access layer and within the data access layer, here you can say I am passing the values for the parameters obj, bo.pad and pname. Build the solution. Now, similarly, when the query is executed successfully, if the record is inserted successfully, it will return 1. The result of that 1 I will store in the integer variable. Now, I will go to business logic layer and within the business logic layer, I want to write the method. So, here I declared one method called add pickup point and uh, business logic layer will interact with the data access layer. So, we are accessing the data access layer method here and build the solution. Now, here I will try to go to the add pickup point dot ASPX and here double click on button and write the code. So, when user clicks on the button, it has to insert the record in the table. So, here you create an object for business logic layer dot First of all, we have to set the values. So, create an object for business objects. Dot business objects obj bo is equals to new business objects of. Now, obj bo dot. 
I will try to set the values. PID is equal to where is my PID? TXT PID dot text. And similarly, OBJ BO dot PNAME is equals to TXT PNAME dot text. Is it clear? Now I want to uh, create an object for business logic layer. So business logic layer dot business logic layer OBJ BLL is equals to new business logic layer of OBJ BLL dot the name of the method is add pickup points. Is it clear? At the time of calling the method, I will pass the object of business objects. And the result of this method I will store in where I. So if the record is inserted successfully, I will return what? One. So here I will write if I double equals to what? One. I want to display one message saying that here you can write response dot write. A response dot write of pickup point was added. Else I want to display the error message saying that failed. Is it clear? And here, if the pickup point is added successfully, I want to clear the p name. Txt p name dot text is equal to empty. And again, I want to call this auto generate the um, PID. So here you say I'll keep the breakpoint here. Press F5 and check the output so that you will understand. So here admin will log in with his username and password, and admin will add the pickup points. Here you see. The pickup point ID was generated. PID underscore two. Here I will try to add one more pickup point called Miyapur. Click on Add button. Now press F5. Here you see PID underscore three. Here I will try to SR Nagar. Uh, click on Add button. Press F5. Here I will write one more pickup point. Amir Pet. Click on Add button. Let us see how it is working. F11, F11, F11. Here you see. Now the when user clicks on button control, presentation layer is interacting with what business logic layer, and uh, business logic layer is interacting with what data access layer, and data access layer will interact with the database and uh, insert the record. If the record is inserted successfully, it will display a message. It will return one, and uh, data access layer will send the result back to business logic layer. Business logic layer will again send back the result back to presentation layer, and is and if the record is inserted successfully. It will display a message saying that added. Is it clear? And clear the pickup point name text box and again auto generate the PID. I hope you understood. In this video, we discussed about how to auto generate the pickup point ID and how to add the pickup point details. In the next video, we'll discuss about uh, deleting and editing operations within the pickup point. Right? Thank you. For more videos, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and Facebook group. Have a nice day.